Let me fix everything and as you can see in the title of this video, converting normal regular printer into a sublimation printer. Well, no, no, no. Using a normal printer with sublimation inks, you can't really convert it because there is, you don't have the access to the special functions of it. But for the cheap, this one only costs around 130 euros, 150 dollars. So pretty inexpensive for the try, brand new. I will recommend using a brand new instead of used. I know you will try buying a cheap used one, but the cheap used one already have normal inks inside. And here we're gonna put straight the sublimation inks. We have in the set, I'll show you now in the kitchen, these inks that needs to go here. Don't put them in, it's absolutely empty, as you can see. And uh, come with me, I'll show you something. So these are the normal regular rings that come in the printer and this here is sublimation ink i recommend if you can afford it buy the sublimation ink from epson and use a sublimation ink from epson in a regular printer i can't afford that for the test so i'm gonna use straight from ebay this sublimation ink aftermarket fake one yeah now unfortunately we need to use, I'll show you now, if we can only open it up. No, I can, no, I can, no. I'll show you to this one. There is a special nozzle, you can use a syringe, yeah, and take this one here, tip it into the, tip it into the printer, but I'll show you now how it's supposed to be done. There is like a special nozzle attachment that you should put on the printer. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll just, I don't want to waste this in the sink. I might reuse them sometimes. So I will just um, put them in these containers here. Yeah. And uh, I'll reuse the bottles. I'll show you now, I'll fast forward. And uh, the way to open this one is just do it from here and tip it you can tip it in the sink i just don't want to waste them they cost money as well last one i'll close all of them put them in the box somewhere and one day somewhere if you have a if you have a already Epson printer with normal inks, you can just reuse the inks, you know, tip them in your printer and then do this. Okay, I'll start rinsing them now. You might use a latex glove so you don't get all colored and make sure your sink is clean because it will paint everything. Now when the bottles are completely clean, yeah, I'll leave them on the sun to dry up. I'll wash the cups as well, and when the bottle is completely clean, we're gonna transfer the ink into them. Okay, now the bottles are completely dry. Nothing inside, nothing in here, no water. This is a moment where mistakes should not happen and we're not allowed. So, black with black, magenta with magenta, cyan with cyan, yellow with yellow, yeah? Opening the black one. For example, this is a problem, yeah? Black with blue, no. I just got them under the sun and it's so bright in there that uh, you can't really see what is what. Okay, now, have this black bottle, oh, this is brand new, I'll take another one. Now, I made a marking here, up to where the filling point is. I 
let's open the yellow. I started showing on the black, but I made a mistake and I didn't remove the cap here. So just do that quickly. Let's stop it up now. Good. There is a little bit more left, but you'll be fine. Okay, now put the cap on top. Okay. And so on with the next few as well. when we start uh, turning the printer on we will uh, top it up with the ink very important to not get it confused black on black open here and I'll just do this and you can see on the bottom How it feels up. Same with all the other rings. Okay, now with all the inks topped up, I'll tell you the yellow was a bit more in the in the bottle. So when it's full, it actually cannot overfill, which is pretty good. It's not gonna leak all over the place. Now turn on the printer. It knows it's for the first time and it will ask us, it will start blinking if uh we get the no it will need a second okay now it will ask us to top it up with ink we'll hold that button for five seconds to tell it that it's topped up one two three four five and now it will start priming yeah to start priming it will actually move the head in the different directions and uh, it will take 11 minutes to actually prime up uh, all the heads uh, the, the head itself yeah so wait for it when it stops blinking we'll load up a paper and we'll do a few passes just to see uh, how it prints. It says 11 minutes it takes you. Charging ink. Okay, so it primed up. I'll just put this piece of paper here. And uh, I have a his book inside the printer that uh, I'll just make a copy of and I think when you press this button it's uh, scanning and then printing at the same time cover for a copy so see if this works and we can do a nozzle check as well to see if uh, if it's okay but yeah it does print as expected colorful pictures
Yeah. Good. So because I don't uh, I'm patient and uh, I wanted to try it with the uh, iron. Yeah, I just printed this one. Yeah, put it here, pressed it as you can see with iron for 30 seconds on the highest setting possible, and this is the result. So, can you do it cheaply for $150? Yes, you can. And the result will depend on your ink and whatever you're gonna use. This is cotton, this is not polyester. Yeah, this is cotton, no polyester. This is normal, regular paper, no, nothing special. So, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, I don't have as much knowledge, so just read a bit more, experiment a bit more, and I'll show you the results. But conversion, very easy. Hope this video helps you, and I'll see you on to the next one. Bye-bye.